forward to seeing your progress. Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome back to XCOM. I take on the bomb disposal. Let's go! Not wasting any time tonight, not wasting any time at all. Let's go kick some X-ray tail just because we can. Prepare for deployment strike one. Begin the assault. What is? Okay, good. We'll reduce panic here too, which is important. Wow, Bradford, that was so insightful. We'll be here for the next mission. BT dubs. Jackass. All right. So, we got this here map. I figured. I didn't figure, actually. I thought it was going to be the damn map. Uh, anyways. Four turns. How fast you got to make me move, son? A massive plasma That's weapon. crazy. For detonation in the crazy, area. I tell you. If the aliens finish charging that thing and it blows... We're looking at mass casualties across the city. Yep. Glad I brought a strike rifle. That's New all I'm saying. Received. Okay, now, Leif. Give me the motion track. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, good. So he can actually get over here and start pulling these out. These bomb nodes. It's good to know where they are. Okay, we got to pack up there. Obviously going to be a freaking problem, but we're not going to peep them uh, until they move. So we can actually get some good positions on these bastards. Vici's excellent. We're going to put uh, Shadow Beave over here for shots and giggles. Mabuza. I mean, Molly's got really good movement, but I already rushed Leif up here. I don't want to necessarily uh, peep these guys too early. Remember, Leif is here. That's a deactivatable thing. And it looks like the m bomb is probably over on that side. Like, it tends to be. So we're going to go heavy on this. I don't want to move too much forward again. I don't want to peek that pack until I'm damn well ready. So I'm going to rush up here and get everyone in kind of decent overwatch positions. So when it does hit us, because inevitably will, we'll be damn well ready. All that good stuff aside, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm going to put our meepy right... Our meepy, <laughs> as if it's like a species of ass kicker. It probably is, right? The natural meepy, the feral oh, yeah, meepy, sits here with his rocket poised and ready to destroy the alien threat. Notice the jowls jiggling as he prepares the explosive device for detonation in his foul enemy's gullet or something. I mean, some weird Richard Attenborough stuff's going on in my head right now. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not really sane, but I'm just saying. All right. Say on! No, no, no. Like DBZ saying, you know what I'm trying to talk about. Just, just let me do my thing, okay? Uh, let's keep going. Пошла. No. Да, правда, пошла. She went. Sweet Monsieur. Yeah, we're going to move hard, fast, and all the other possible energetic adjectives we can put in here. Overwatching and moving. Overwatching and moving. Sticking and moving. Aliens are just kind of holding their ding-dongs right now, apparently. Probably get some heavy flow tours around. Um, not a great thing, but we'll make do. Give me a little bit of this so we know what's up. Thank you. We may even know what's up there at this point. Oh, it looks like that guy left, or they teleported, or some other weird shit happened. But either way, we'll be able to deactivate this pretty easy. Should we check the motion track? Let's check the motion track. Why don't we check the motion track? Still there! Okay, so the pack is actually still there. If we can activate this early without having to worry about... Oh, there's the little power node to power down. Shin. Uh, let's go right there. See what we've got. Obviously, there's something. It is a heavy floator pack. Oh, how cheerful. And we've got another pack way out there. Activate. Oh, it's even got a chrysalid involved. Oh, isn't that cute? It's like freaking interspecies breeding. Wonderful. Well, we're going to set up the Rocketeer to blow the crap out of this and just call it a freaking day. I don't want to see any interspecies cooperation shit on this watch. No siree, Bob. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any aliens over here, so if we can actually peep that spot with someone and deactivate that little uh, m extra extra level of boom boom, that'd be great. Do you know what you can get over there? You can. Oh, Vandal can get over there. Never mind. Perfect. Enemy oh crap. So much for that. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd have more of a chance to adjust before that happened, but that's okay. Escobar, we have you. Okay, now, can we get a rocket where we want it to go? Well, we get a rocket in that guy's face. And honestly, to avoid flanks on that side, I almost think it's a worthwhile rocket shot. Let's just do it. Firing rocket. What up? Oh, yeah, even cleared up some cover. Beautiful. Okay, so that works for me. It's three normal flow. I mean, two normal floaters and a mega floater. So we'll not activate that one. We'll activate these guys. He's... Are you actually flanked? No, you were flanked. Then we killed somebody. Okay. Then I got high. 
Uh, good. Okay, so Blair is in kind of a shit position, but we'll make do with that. Ash, again, no one can support because we lack the movement. Have some shots here. Dinar Chicky can get over here and toss grenades, I guess, so let's do a little bit of that action. Uh, I'm afraid of moving to that move. bomb node because that other group is there, but that's all right. Yeah, we can clear this up a little bit. What's your aim like there, Blandle? 69, 45, so some good numbers there. Uh, let's go with and Dinar Chicky grenade to the face. Clear up some of this cover, at least, and then we'll be able to kill. So remember, Vandal has hit and run, so we clear up these covers. These are free shots, effectively. And then shit gets fun in a quickness. Um, remember, hit and run doesn't require your primary weapon, unlike ITZ, I think. For standard shot, exactly. So that's perfect. And none of these guys are flying, I don't think. Yeah, perfect. So that's exactly what I want to see. Oh, we got 99% with uh, the big gun. 94. All right, no, I'm not going to take any chances in this case. I'm going to take the big gun out. It is a little ludicrous. Let me disarm all in. Disarm. Disarm. Gracias. Grassy ass. Right Much ass, grassy ass. Door. Come on. Boom. Down. One down. Dos. Not that guy. He's got full cover. That guy who's got 75%. Escobar, can you do better? The you can't. Oh, bollocks. All right, well, I guess we can't do any better than that. Uh, Krungle, can you get over here? Can you freaking just get over to a place where you can fire at things? I want you to kill things, damn it. All right, get over here, I guess. You'll be a little bit of bait in half cover. I'll drop a smoke here, obviously. I'm not saying like I'm just going to leave these people out here to die or something horrible like that. Are we going to activate a move here? Let's count. Ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ah, maybe... And that's three heavies, I think. Yeah, it's three heavies and lids, so I don't want to actually activate that if I can avoid it. So I'm probably going to want to put Ash... I really want to put Ash in a better place than this. I mean, this would be a great place for Ash. Actually, it is a great place for Ash. Let's put Ash there. And we'll be able to do some work on that pack. All right, good. They really do like putting heavy floaters in these missions, I've realized. It's kind of douchey. Uh, let's bring Escobot up here because she can be able to fire these things soon. We got a f what? What the hell do we see flanked? There's three things we see flanked. Well, oh, probably something out there actually. Yeah, it's probably one of those. I right, know where. For now, though, we're gonna toss that smoke like we yeah, said we would. To cover up our frontliners here. It's a little easier on everyone, uh, cause half cover is no bueno. It's a little bit of that action. It's a good thing we we killed like two of them already, so we'll be less likely to dash in on us too hard. We'll probably get flanked by something us Brazilians is for, right? Yeah, he's pissed. They're trying to pull back. They're trying, but they're not going to succeed. You're going to move forward? Okay, good. You're going to move over there, which means I don't need to worry about you quite yet. The lid is pretty funny. It's a nice addition to that freaking heavy floater pack. It's kind of kind of mean, honestly, but whatever. He's just going to book off. Are you going to book off, too? I hate you so much. All right. Well, so much for making this mission go fast and easy. Um... Okay, so we still have that bomb to go, and we still need to make these engagements count. The problem is now we may well be flanked by some nasty. Well, let's go here. You will be concealed, at least. Oh, he doesn't have vision on any of these things. Okay, that's fascinating. Escobar has a shot on one of these. 100% chance to maybe execute that guy. That's not bad. I mean, this is not exactly the safest spot in the world, but I can make do. I want my Rocketeer up there before we engage these guys, though. Let me get my Rocketeer right here. At least we'll have um, fire in the hole and we'll be able to fire a nice shot on these guys when we're ready. Uh, Jolie. Yeah, we got smoke up, but those guys are just going to run like little bums. So if that's the position. If Leif doesn't have vision on these guys here, I probably should be able to deactivate this without activating them, but I'm not entirely certain. Can we deactivate on a ramp? If this acts like covered, then we cannot. Additionally, I don't want to run in that direction. Can we do it from here? Out. Very good question. Oh, we got vision. Bloody freaking marvelous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can we disarm? We can disarm. Okay, we'll take a hit and run shot from here and then work it. We'll... Okay. I know I, I, I activated probably too many things. 100%. Oh, you didn't fly, you idiot. Oh, marvelous. Okay, cool. We can probably take one of these guys down. I just want to get these engagements up and running and going while we are still in one piece. And if they move in from that side, I'll have um, heavy, I'll have smoke covering us from angles so we don't have to worry about getting flanked too hard. Or we just put our explosive expert there and we'll be fine. 
Shadow Beave needs to be a little safer about this, but it's okay. Let's get the hit and run going with Vandal. It's going to be important to hit and run. Hi. Nice kill. And the good thing about Leif is that he's still uh, hidden here, so he can actually put his shotgun to work with great effect uh, right there. Because there's a couple of these guys that could really deserve a big explosive in their face right now. Krungle's got some really good shots on these things too. 90%, 60. Yeah, these are actually all pretty good, pretty good shots. Uh, Blair, yeah, we'll figure this out in a second. Let me get this right. We'll get Dinar Chicky here because she can toss grenades and she'll be difficult to hit from here. And she can toss grenades like a bouse. Really? You can't quite get there? Surprising. Can we go a little higher on these grenades? No, that's really about as good as we're going to get, I'm afraid. Oh, we only have a little bit of something up here. Clear up this cover a little. Yeah, this will clear up a lot of cover as well and do some damage. Let's do that. Throwing grenades. This will make aim this a little bit easier, too. The more heavy floaters we can kill, the better. We just want to clear that up just a little bit. Keep that guy open to, uh, to other opinions here. Okay, Ash is probably going to stay here just to overwatch in this direction. You never know when those guys are going to come back. We can't run and gun with Blair anymore. Could take a cover position, but right now I think we got to put our our heavy artillery to work. Namely, namely our sniper, Leif, and Krungle. Leif, what is your aim on some of this stuff? That's my question. 69, you have 100% on that. What is? Do we have Shadow Beam on a lot of things or just one thing? 100% on that, 71. I could probably get a better aim on the other guy there now because he doesn't have cover. Let's get in the smoke. And we still have just the two? Just the two. Okay, I'm putting ourselves in a little bit of more of a dangerous position. That's unfortunate. But let's get work on, on 90%. Leif, make that better, please. And do we have a better one on this guy? 69. It's about the same as Krungle has. So let's get Leif to knock this guy down. There's a crit, but not much of one, unfortunately. Krungle will now have... Well, we could have Krungle suppress something, too, so that's nice. Let's get a kill shot with our sniper. Guaranteed kill right there. We can pin someone down with Krungle for now. Booyah! All right, and where is the Krung? Actually, Ash is doing fine right here. I'm going to leave her right there to watch that flank. Vandal's not going to do much here besides come up here and get ready to run and gun while those things move up. Ash is going to overwatch. Krungle is going to sit there. Do I toss? I mean, I kind of need to toss a smoke here to cover our um, Rocketeer, who's kind of exposed right now. Toss smoke right there. Leif is doing okay. He's up front. He's got. He's pretty freaking tanky, so he's sitting behind that full cover. If Krungle suppresses, we should be just fine. Uh, we're going to run yeah. Jolie right into his own smoke for obvious reasons. Krungle is going to suppress... He's kind of in a shit position, that guy, so he's the only guy actually going to suppress us. Suppress him. He doesn't leave his uh, low cover, and Ash is going to overwatch on this corner. All right, good enough. Oh, we got another pack coming in? How many heavy floaters they freaking deploy on this mission? you got to be freaking kidding me. That's three packs of heavy floaters now. That's cute. In a lot of different ways. I mean, in all the ways that are bad. Okay. Now we've got rockets available as well. Do we have anything from here? We do not. Okay. They're, they're pushing up on us a little bit, but that's the nature of these missions. Uh, let's keep grenading things and blowing things up, specifically with rockets. Big, big rockets. Um, Clear these guys up a little. Yeah. I'm either going to concentrate fire or start blowing up cover. How far can Dinar Chicky hurl right now? And not vomit, I mean just actually throw things. And how is Shadow Beast aim against everything? 56, 51. We could get a maybe get a flank on this guy from here, but I run the risk of getting flanked from the other side. If we can get this kill, it'd be nice. I'm not content about that, the odds on that, so let's get Krungle to do stuff, too. We have aim on two things, 69 versus 80%. Okay. I think what'll make sense if we get hollow up on that guy with Leif, have Krungle finish him off, probably makes sense right now. 69. It'd be better if we were closer, but it's a little dangerous. Where is Vandal? Ah, Vandal does the high-risk work in general. Uh, we do need to obviously get this thing deactivated, and Leif can actually get this done. Also breaking the Overwatch cover, so let's do that. Oh, you didn't break Overwatch, but all right. 
We got a little closer to deal with that guy. 93%. That's a lot better. That'll buy you some time. 93% Leif. Come on, man. I need you to do better. I need you to do better, son. I really do need you to do better than that. All right. Oh, that's that's kind of poopy. Uh, shoot. How do grenades go? I need to move my grenader a little bit. Okay. Well, this is kind of crap. I thought he would actually hit that shot and break Overwatch. He did neither of those things. All right. Looks like Shadow Beep does need to move out, but she is definitely in Overwatch sight of that guy. So I need to watch out for her a little. Oh, balls. And if I move Ash out here, I do run the risk of triggering that other pack that's just sitting back there waiting for me to move. Um, but I would really like another, another Overwatch-capable thing on here. I'm going to save my rockets for when I really need them, and I think I'm going to need them relatively soon here. Okay, let's start, let's start this way. Krungle, get me a shot on this thing. 90%. Oh, cover fire. That's cute. At least we're in the full cover. Hey, he broke his overwatch now, I think. Unless he's got um, Sentinel, but he doesn't. Okay, good. Cool. Eight damage. Okay. So we're going to use Krungle to keep these other guys pinned while we pick them off. Escobar. 81%. Nice. Okay, good. Krungle's gonna keep another one pinned while we blow it up. I'm gonna blow up his cover, hopefully. I think it's a little easier. Krungle, which one can Krungle pin? That's that's the real question right now. Krungle can pin that guy. Okay, good. That's what we want to do. We want to ad take advantage of that. Let's blow up a rocket here to clear some cover right about there. Do damage to that guy too. Bring in the pain. Bring that pain, yo. And that sucked. At least we cleared some cover, but not much. Uh, okay. That's kind of blows, but all right. Um, Jolie. Jolie could really do work by psychic in one of these guys, but he's not going to be in his own smoke. It's a little dangerous. In this case, Ash can move out probably here a little safer. Those guys are going to come back at some point, so i got to be a little careful how I deploy her, but that should be okay. Uh, Vandal. Vandal's going to need to do some work for me, though I run, obviously, the risk of picking up another pack at this rate. What is active right now? That's a good question. What do I have in toto? Three floaters and three heavies. So I see two of the heavies, and there's three floaters out there, and um, one heavy floater still that not accounted for. I want Jolie to start being able to use his psychic abilities. I could put him right here, though that puts him in a bit of a dangerous spot. I also want to be able to use my flashbangs, which is not helping. Yeah, they tend to bring an inordinate amount of heavy floaters to these missions, and it's not exactly filling me with a lot of confidence. We could go here, hit and run, and then run back, because this would definitely be a flank shot. Yeah, we're going to make use now. of hit and run that way. Especially since we're not sitting on... Ooh, we see something else. No, no, no. That's not what I want to press. I want to know where this is. That's that. That's that. What's that? Ah, right there. There's one of the floaters. Okay. Well, we're going to take this flank shot, obviously. It's a free shot. Nice. Okay. 13 crit. I may just try to kill that guy. Uh, I'm not going to leave Vandal out there, though. Maybe an easy kill for Dinar Chicky with a grenade, but it's a little dangerous. Jolie, Jolie really does need to get out here, though, I think. Because he'll be able to use his grenades down this pipeline. That's where we're stronger. Yeah. If only I could actually have an extra... No, I can have an extra move, actually. I can kill this and then have Krungle... Oh god, there's another pack right there. Jesus, four packs of floaters. Yet another heavy to deal with. Okay, I could also command Vandal back at this point to get right back there. Probably makes sense. I'm gonna kill this, I'm gonna command her back. Can you actually command who I think you can? I think well you can definitely see um, Vandal at this point. And Krungle's in a little bit of a dangerous spot since uh, smoke wore off, so I can't really keep Krungle there. Same reason I can't really keep my sniper there. Do I, the sniper's still getting full uh, smoke. No, not really. Hmm. That is dangerous in the extreme as well. Let me take Ash right here. Uh, this is all a little dangerous right now. <laughs> Shit balls. Um, well, you have resilience right here, Blair. That's kind of what we pay you for. But given what I know is out there, I think just pulling Kringle back a sec would be fine. Can we just kill, please? Nice. Let's command Blair back then. Low. I know, I know, I know. Your armor's running low. 
Uh, command. You can't command Blair? Are you serious right now? Are you... S God damn it! I hate that vision crap sometimes. All right, Roger go right that. here. Ugh, oh, that's really frustrating. Moving. Are the younger now we get to push this guy? No, but we can overwatch at least. That's frustrating as hell. Blair's gonna take one for the team right now. Ugh, that's not good. It's not good. This guy's gonna move a lot too. He's probably gonna get a decent flank off. Oh, he's gonna jet. Where's he gonna jet to? Right there. Okay, that's gonna be dealt with with our gunner. No problem. No problem at all. It's all right. Yeah, she's gonna take a bit of a pounding, but that's what our assaults are for. Good. That's what armor's for. Got another pack. God damn it. Okay, we took a little bit of damage, but that's all within the realm of able to deal with it. Um, okay, Rocketeers are going to be worth their weight in gold right now, as are Psychic Abilities to make them not kill us. Okay, so it's getting interesting. Uh, we got yet another pack active, so we got five floaters and four heavies still to deal with. Ash is going to be able to do work on this guy with Rapid Fire, and this is why Close Range Rapid Fire is a godsend. Can we still use... We're going to need to kill this guy, obviously, so we may need to use a grenade to finish that off. Let me get um, Ash over here. Ash might be able to deal with my this floater problem very quickly. This is probably gonna be even closer, honestly. It's going to be a flank. Yeah, it's going to be a flank on the guy. I'm going to put Ash right here. It'll be a little safer yeah, than putting out here in case there's nothing waiting in the corner. We'll rapid fire the shit out of this guy. Ten crit shred, and there should be a kill if we're lucky. Nice. Taken care of. So much for that jetpack, douchebag. Alright, now. Rocketeer. Um, oh crap, he's only got shred. No more explosives. We need to clear this cover. So, Dean Archicky, again, one of the main reasons I brought explosives to this mission. I have a bunch of Overwatch I need to worry about. So, I'm going to deploy Leif in his Overwatch running capacity that we know so well. Hey, dudes, shoot for me. Oh, really? Okay, that's kind of weird, but I guess the overwatches are pretty far back, so that's fine. Uh, let's get Dean Archicky up here then, so the overwatches are not going to be there, and then we're going to toss some On explosives. Nice. There's the other overwatcher. We get an explosive going right there. Right there, in her! Kill the heavies. Those are the real, real issue. Once the floaters are here, we can deal with them. Oh, Jesus. Didn't you just say... Oh, it's going to be in the face. Yeah, it's going to be in the face. Didn't I just say I was out of range of the Overwatches? Catch. You asswipe. Nice. How low on ammo are we right now? Well, Blair's down to one round. I need to reload that gun. Krungle's gonna have an easier job of this, though. 80%. That's the only vision you have? Serious, dude? Alright, well, Escobar is gonna need to book the hell out of here. Pull back. Probably to honestly where Krungle... Uh, I hate running these angles like this. All right, let's go right there. That's yeah, a little better. 100%. We got to kill the heavies a little bit. That's the most important thing we got. Let's clean that up. Can we get a crit? Yeah, Escobar. Oh, yeah, puta. Okay, how many of these guys do we still have now? Two heavies still. Yeah, Dean Archicky's not in a good way. I wish I had more smoke, but I do not at this point. I have Smokey, but he's not going to be able to do too much. Leif should be running overwatches in his state. Vandal needs cover. That guy's got overwatch, so if she runs, she's going to get pinged. Uh, we could run Leif out here to break this cover, actually. That might be smart, to run Leif out here, then get Vandal up here to start doing her work with the shotgun. Vandal is pretty much our frontliner right now. For lack of a better option. Um, not that she's like a bad option, but it's just kind of dangerous. Krungle. Nice. Not much to worry about. Okay, that's what I think I'm going to do. I may command Dino Chicky to get out of there then. Because I know I can command Dino Chicky. And Dino Chicky will be able to get pretty much to safety all the way back here. I don't want her to die. I need time to work my medkits. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do that plan. This is a little dangerous. We still have two heavies and four floaters. All four floaters are here. We have, oh, we still have a rocket. That's right. We still have a rocket, don't we? 
a shred, but a rocket nonetheless. You can get work on this. Just on that guy. But with that kind of damage, it may force him to run rather than try to go offensive. Uh, I'm not keen on that rocket shot, though. They don't want to have Vandal just run in and take damage. That's just dumb. Bad policy, really. So Leif should probably come out... This is all easily flankable, too, if these guys move forward. I mean, do we just pull back? That's another option. We could just pull back a tick, but when's the last time I really, like, forcibly retreated? Um, I may need to pull back here, as much as I hate doing it, and pull them into our Sentinel Overwatch trap and let our rocket I mean, our Rocketeer do his work that way. Yeah, I think that's going to be necessary. I can't psychic anyone right now, so... I think pulling back is a smart thing. As much as I want to keep the offensive going, this is a, a knock him down, drag him out kind of fight. Let me put Blair out. Yeah. What do you have vision on? Sorry, not that. Which two do you have vision on? That guy and that guy. So this Overwatcher doesn't have you. We want Dean Archie to get all the way back here to be as safe as possible. She may still get flanked by that guy, but the Overwatch from Krung will probably keep her safe. Probably. I mean, no, Krungle won't be overwatching because of the fact he's going to command to keep DNRG safe. Alright, so that's... Hmm. Not a lot of good options here. We have an overwatch here, maybe. That might do something. I think we need a steady on Meepy because that rocket's going to need to be critical in a second. I wish I could flash. I mean, bombard. I do have bombard. So technically, this should be relatively okay, but I just don't have the range. This, this cover is few and far between, so I blew up most of it already. And you don't have smoke left. Yeah. Shoot. Huh. Okay, sorry. I'm thinking about this because this is a really important decision. And if I don't make the right one, I could end up getting shot, killed, or worse. Okay, she does have a need to move that Overwatch off. I need to move Leif up here. If I'm going to move that Overwatch off, I need to move Leif up here. I'm going to move him over here, not because he can't take advantage of half cover, but because this is the safest place he can be without getting completely flanked out. So Leif, you're going to have to do some serious work for me, bro. Uh, I hate doing this to you, but you need to break that Overwatch. And then we're going to have to get our assault out of there. Good enough. And he's going to be pretty safe there, I think. Dean Archicki is going to be the, da the one in real danger. I'm going to put Blair out here and reload, probably. Probably the safest thing I can do for her. Head it there now. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll burst back in when we're ready. Rock okay, and we actually really, really need to command um, Dean Archicki out of there, because that's too dangerous for her. She took a little too much damage, and while I'd rather have command used for something like, you know, explosive death, Dean Archicki, yeah. Well, I need you to move, girl. I could go all the way here, I guess. The likelihood of stuff going in that way is probably low. Probably safer. And Julie can probably minister to her from here. Can you get over there, Julie? Not really. You can't. You can barely move out that way, but that's alright. I'm going to get Dean Archicki over here. That's probably the safest and furthest away from any floaters. Heading out. Good. Because so now we're safe with her, more or less. Obviously. Julie can now come here. That's he may right. be able to psychic something make his job a little easier. Oh, he can even probably flash from here now. That's what I was hoping for. We flash two of these guys? Yeah, we flash two of them. Okay, that'll ruin... That'll reduce the numbers considerably. Julie's obviously hanging himself out here for this, but, you know, support medic, yo. That's what we do. Three disorientates. Awesome. Awesome job, Julie. Except for that guy who we didn't count on. No! Mabuza! Ah, oh, DNR Chicky! I didn't think he'd have the vision. That's really, that's a long shot, dude. And he's gonna go back here. Of course he is. He's a douchebag. God, floaters. This mission. Ah, I lost another engineer. What is with engineers and high casualty rates? Shoot. Alright, what are you gonna do, asshole? Okay. We got some suppression to deal with, and another guy. 
Oh, well, I found two heavies. Okay, we need to rocket some of this stuff with the quickness. I cannot believe Dinar Shin got hit. I think it's maximum distance that guy could have run. If she was here, maybe that wouldn't have happened, but I don't even know at this point. That's ah, freaking frustrating. Okay. Um, well, you know, that's what happens sometimes, I guess. God damn. 81% uh, to a lot of stuff. Has some pressure to deal with. That guy's the killer. I want to kill him back, but I can't do much about it. I thought I had this pretty much licked, but it looks like now there's a lot of danger going on. We can do a lot of rocket work right now, though. Let's do a lot of rocket work, please. This is going to need to happen. A lot of death is going to need to happen right now. Oh, shoot. How do you overwatch with covering fire after you jet? You normally can't do that, buddy. Got lucky there, actually. Didn't think you could have overwatched with that. But that's new and interesting information. I may need to run and gun back there and deal with it, unfortunately. I won't be able to deal with suppression as well as I'd like. Leva suppressed. His aim is going to... Oh, his aim is actually not bad. Even through suppression. I oh, know. I guess... What is actually suppressed here? Only only one thing is suppressed. Is that... You're suppressed still, Julie? You're suppressed. Yeah, but suppressed didn't change psychic abilities, so... Yeah, okay, good. So we still do this work. I guess it's still doable, I think. Um, let's continue this way. That's a nice damage we can do there. That one guy's a little... That, not that one guy's in the Rocketeers. And who's the actual suppressor here? I'm trying to watch where the gunfire's coming from. The guy can't see with life. Okay, let's take the easy kills while we can get them. He has some gold. And which ones are flashbanged? You're shredded, but not flashbanged. Which ones are actually flashbanged, for God's sake? These guys seem to be all oh, disorientated. There we go. That guy disorientated. That guy is disoriented. That's why he didn't hit uh, me on the flank. Okay. So we're probably going to use our assault to dig back there and kill him. Yeah, it's going to be necessary, unfortunately. This guy is too dangerous to let alive. And he's really the one decent piece of cover here, so it's all sorts of problems if I don't kill him. Oh, crap. Okay. So what can we do? i got to reduce the numbers of the suppressions and floaters. They're tactically being very, very useful right now. I don't want the aliens to have tactically useful items available. Tengo que a la yeah. Take la cuenta. Make the cuenta bigger. And go to la cuenca. Uh, so for anyone who's a Spanish speaker, I apologize for that one. It was probably very, very crude of me. All right. Oh, we do have the Overwatch to run, too. Balls. All right, let's move Ash up here. Chances are that Overwatch won't be triggered by coming out yeah, of cover here. There we go. We can get that guy in a, a rapid fire. There's a chance we're getting killed. Let's do that. 25% chance of not hitting any of them. And we hit that 25%. Not when I wanted to hit that 25%. 100% chance to kill. I'll take that. Nice. We got that guy. We can't suppress, unfortunately. So we got no more suppression. Oh, no, we do have suppression. It's a heavy suppression. We could just eyeball that guy with our minds and do it. Um, all right. Let's go here. Going in for the kill. I'm so pissed that Dinar Chicky died. I'm still furious about that if you didn't figure it out. This dude really needs to die, though. Like yesterday. Hi. He's down. Okay. Uh, Krungle can take a shot now, or just reload. I think it makes sense to reload. Uh, Smokey, why don't you mine for one of these guys? I could also just flashbang them both. They're still they're still disorientated, right? Both of them, I think. Well, I don't know right now. He probably is. Now he looks down. Yeah, the other fellow isn't though. So we could chem him, I guess. No, we we're suppressed. We can't do the range. So let's do this. Let's mine for this guy if we can. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay, so they're disorientated and mind frayed. These are the last two real dangers on the map. He didn't move much. And his aim sucks. Good. Come closer to late. Please do that. I like. Oh, you're going to jetpack again, too, aren't you? Where are you going? God, these guys love jetpacking so much right now. Okay. You are coming around the side. All right. Leaf. 100%. Yeah, let's take that swing. 
14. We have two turns till the bomb is charged. We have a lot of things up. Uh, a lot of uh, bomb nodes up still. Ugh, okay. I'm still really pissed about losing Engineer. God damn, that's really the highest casualty rate in this entire campaign is Engineers. Okay, can this guy actually fire now? Damage Grand Tactical Center, Close Encounters, Death Perception, Covering Fire, Evasion. But he's not on Overwatch, Heat Ammo, Repair Servos. He's pretty beastie. War Master. He is beastie. Uh, he's a little beastie here. CQC means this is dangerous to get near him. One, two, three, four. So I need to kind of keep my keep my distance. But here is probably fine. I can still rapid fire him from here. Yep. Can we eliminate this with rapid fire? We may be able to, but a shredder would make sure it's a guarantee. Uh, can we shred this last guy and then Meepy will be using a shatter ray for all this good? It's gonna do him. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, let's go right about. Um, there. Yeah, let's shred the guy. I don't want to scatter too much. Oh, don't do this crap right now. Yeah, it's going to have to do. I want to put right on him, though, because then I shred a, I scatter a little, and then suddenly he's bad. Let's do it that way. There's a little more scatter. There's a higher chance of getting where he needs to go. And I shred. Perfect. All right, good. Now we'll be able to kill him with Ash. Hopefully. Shred, yeah, it'll be easy. Aha! Really? Two damage? God. Alright. Um, who can deal with this bastard? Well, not that. Escobar may be able to deal with him from here. Krungle, can you hit this guy? That'd be nice. Okay, danger ahead what? now. Um, okay, that's not so good. We're running out of options here. With a quickness. Hmm. I thought this was going to be easy. Now shit got hard. Escobar can go here without triggering CQC. It should be relatively simple. Yeah, there we go. Done. Good, 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 good. So we're going to suppress this guy. Oh, we can actually probably kill this guy. 90. Krungle, hit that for me. Damn it! Ah! Oh, XCOM! Why you hate me like this? Seriously, dude? 90% not what I needed you to miss right now. I'm gonna rush uh, Blair up here too, because CQC will trigger. Alright, now we gotta depend on Julien to make this shot, which is... I mean, he's not, he's not a rifleman first, unfortunately. 56, are you kidding me? Alright, let's go. Make this happen, buddy. XCOM no liking me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's gonna, in order to shoot, he's gonna need to do that. Okay. We're detecting an energy buildup in the area. I know we are. That bomb is going to reach full power any minute now. I know we got plenty of nodes, uh, Bradford. It'll be fine. We just need to kill this guy first. Maybe do you want to be a hero? Do you want to be an hero? You have covering fire too, don't you, prick? No, you don't. You have bombard. All right. Well, let's take the shot then. I just checked. Okay, I just checked if he had covering fire. Didn't say he had covering fire, unless I'm blind. What the hell? Can we check that again? Danger zone, depth perception. Oh, he covered. Sometimes I hate me. Okay. All right, well, Leif's going to come up here, fix the node, and kill this prick. Hi. It seems you've bought yourself some time. Of course I have. Thank you. Okay. Wow. So, is everything dead now? Everything is dead now. We gotta find the bomb. We gotta disarm it. And then we gotta get ready for the Thin Men. They're never really gonna come up. Uh, goddamn. And Dinar Chicky, rest in peace. Seriously, that's really sad. Dinar Chicky was a solid, solid operator. I'm so sad to see her go. Especially like that. That was a freaking. Not only was it not a flanking shot, it was a long range shot. The guy got just to the square. Did everything I could to save her, even burned a command, and just no, no, no can do, no can do. Sometimes XCOM is cruel, and this is definitely one of those times. I'm gonna get Jolie up here to start healing up. Um, Vandal, I'm gonna need to get that hit point all the way to the top end, since uh, we're gonna definitely be hit good by work. Thin Men plenty shortly. Time, but you still need to find that bomb. I know. 
I need to find that bomb, Shen. I need to find that bomb, but I kind of have a good idea where it is. And I'm pretty sure nothing is left on the goddamn map, so we should be all right. Let's get Vandal up here. Though I'm not entirely certain. Let's reload real quick, okay? Yeah, there's nothing left. Okay, let's come up here. Heal up Vandal. Yep. Two smokes and uh. Yeah, two smokes and uh, or whatever that was about. Oh God, I'm so sad about Dinar Chicky. Seriously, it's just it's such a such an unfortunate loss. It was. I did everything I could to save her, and it was basically go left or go right. And I thought left would be f more flankable, which it was. If they got in the right place, fortunately the guy got just in the right place to screw us for the other Good one. Job, strike one. That should buy How much time do we minutes. have? Where is the bomb actually? It's usually over here somewhere. It's a good question of where that bomb is now. Uh, let's get Leif moving. I need to get Leif reloaded. Yeah, where's the bomb on this mission? Bon. I guess they moved where it is. It's no longer no longer predictable. I guess it's more realistic, I suppose, because every time you go on this mission, you know exactly where the bomb is. Corriendo. Fair enough. Let's keep going, baby. Ash, get your butt all the way up here. There's nothing on the map right now, so I'm just yellow moving to all the nodes. So we activated everything quickly. God damn. Uh, we'll keep moving for now. I know you need to reload the gun, but you'll have the opportunity shortly. And Meepy's really got to get up with everybody. Get moving, buddy. Just in case there's a random ass drop here, but I don't think there is. Not on bomb missions. Okay, good enough. Julien. Yeah, you can't even keep up with um, Blair, but that's all right. Let's go right around there. Where is the bomb? No, seriously, where's the bomb? <laughs> if this actually goes off by accident, I'm gonna be really sad. I have no idea where the damn thing is. <laughs> That's funny to me. Excellent. That's another one down. Do we have anything over here that we see, or the bomb's further inland? Okay, not sure where the bomb is. I could motion track this, obviously, and then we'll know. But I need to... Oh, it's right there. There Good. it is. Looks like you found, found it. The bomb. Now go deactivate it before it destroys this town. We have a new objective. All right. So we're gonna get stuff moving this way. Oh, okay. Bomb node. Oh. Yeah, it's a little more time to set up. We're gonna try and set one. up on the roofs a little bit. Power node but it's not very safe when the thin man drops come in. So I need to think about this a little bit before oh. we go in. Whole hog. Uh, I will think That's about this. Power node down. Thank you, Shen. I will think about this next time, though, as we bring this mission to a conclusion and mourn Dinar Chiki when we have the time. I'm already mourning. Uh, I have been nurses, have been XCOM, and uh, let's defuse the bomb next time. Till then.